Let's get started using Magnet's Hash Sets Manager. Before you can get started using the Hash Sets Manager, you'll need to join the Magnet Idea Lab. Once you get an email saying you're approved, you can log in and browse the projects. We'll select Hash Sets Manager. You'll request access and a download link will be sent to your email. After downloading the executable for the Hash Sets Manager, you'll double click that executable and continue with the installation. We'll go ahead and click Finish and also visit the website associated with the Hash Sets Manager. In order for us to use our hash sets, we'll need to add some hash sets. So you can simply add those by the different categories of your hash sets, such as the media categorization, the known file hash sets, or your non-relevant hash sets that you may already have available to you. So you can click on add hash set and then browse to where those are located in order to upload them. Once you have your hash sets uploaded, now you'll be able to go into Axiom to finish the setup. Within Axiom process, you'll go to tools and settings. Go all the way to the bottom where it says product integrations and we'll select the hash sets manager. After selecting, they'll give you the link to the Magnet Idea Lab if you need that, but then also you'll need to configure the hash sets manager settings. You'll need to know the IP address of the server where you set up your hash sets manager and also the port number that you specified when you installed it. Then you can simply click connect to server and the status of your connection to the hash sets manager server is indicated to the right. To update your hash sets after you've done some grading, you can export a JSON file, then go to update hash set, and then import hash list, and select the JSON file associated. Then you've got the option to select which categories you would like to import, or you can simply select all, and save changes. Now you'll see that the hash set is processing. Feel free to reach out with any questions. Thanks for watching.